two former employees of the now defunct Semcorp Marine and one of its subsidiaries have been charged with corruption. Both are accused of bribing Brazilian officials to advance their company's business interests. Semcorp Marine is now known as Citrium following a merger with Keppel Offshore and Marine last year. Marcus Tan with this report. 20 minutes before his hearing, former Semcorp Marine President, Executive Director and CEO Wang Wing Sun arrived at the state courts with his wife and legal team. Inside, he was joined by Li Fu Kang, a former Senior General Manager at Jurong Shipyard. Each of the men face five charges. Wong and Li are accused of paying bribes amounting to around 60 million Singapore dollars to a Brazilian middleman named Guilherme Estevez de Jesus. The money was purportedly passed on to Brazilian officials, politicians and businessmen. The offences are said to have taken place between 2009 and 2014. Those convicted of a corruption offence can be jailed up to five years, fined a maximum of 100,000 Singapore dollars or both. On top of his five charges for corruption, Wong is also facing a sixth charge for obstruction of justice. Now, this is because he instructed his employees to delete an email that contained evidence of him sending bribes to his contact in Brazil. Both men were granted bail and were returned to court on the 23rd of May. Singapore authorities say the country's public prosecutor is discussing a deferred prosecution agreement with Citrium. Under the proposed deal, Citrium will have to pay a penalty of 110 million US dollars. A DPA typically defers criminal charges against a corporate, as long as it complies with conditions that can include admitting wrongdoing, paying a penalty and corporate reform. The charges are the latest developments in a corruption probe that began around the middle of last year. It looked into alleged links between Semcorp Marine and money laundering and graft activities in Brazil. Authorities say they had sufficient evidence to prosecute this case, unlike the one involving Keppel Offshore and Marine. In that instance, prosecutors could not prove that certain individuals had paid bribes to officials at a state-owned oil company.